We are here at the number one lounge at Birmingham International Airport. This stylish lounge offers a fully tended bar, complimentary food dishes served buffet style, runway views, TV lounges, workspaces, Wi-Fi and digital newspapers and magazines. The lounge is open from 5am until 8pm. We paid £34 each to enter this lounge and we had three hours of complimentary food and drink. There are two menus on offer, the breakfast menu and the evening menu. We were here in the evening so we did have a choice of the hot dishes such as curry, rice, pasta and sausage and mash. Welcome to the number one lounge, Birmingham International Airport. We have just checked in, been shown to our table in the corner. This is the lounge. So there are a lot of seating areas here in the lounge. There is a TV room, small kind of hideaways where you can sit, have food. Um, these large sofas, you've kind of got normal dining room chairs, you've got big lounges at the top up there. The toilets are outside of the lounge, there are no showers or toilets within the lounge. There are plugs available to charge your devices and there is free Wi-Fi. As you can see, the food menu is pretty extensive. You've got your hot dishes, you've got your cold dishes, and then you've got cakes and things in your pantry. The choice of food was pretty good, however, when we arrived, there was a lot of dishes that were empty, had nothing in them, or just the scraps at the bottom of the bowl. So I've gone for the tomato and basil pasta with a piece of bread. The, the pasta I had, not the best, it was very cold. Um, it was okay taste-wise. The bread, cold bread. Beers are going down well though. Second beer, what are these? Seven pound a pot in a normal restaurant in the uh, airport. All drinks are complimentary. Wines, spirits, beers, sparkling wines. The only thing you have to pay for is champagne. The Wi-Fi speeds were quite good. As you can see, I was getting 17 megabytes plus of download. The upload speeds weren't that great. I did do a test on the airport Wi-Fi after we left the lounge and I was getting better speeds. So there's no benefit of being on the Wi-Fi in the lounge. One of the features the lounge offer is you can access digital magazines and newspapers. You just scan the QR code found on the advertisements around the lounge. After some questionable mixes of meals, it was time for some dessert. They do have plates of fresh fruit, cakes, scones, and also a pancake machine. So this is a self-serve pancake machine. So you push your plate in here, press the button, and your pancakes come out. The lounge website does say that you have runway views, however, not much of a view from this window today because it's so miserable. After a lot more eating and a lot more drinking, it was time to pack up and head off to our flight. So there we are, we've had two hours in the lounge. We've had loads, drank loads, and now it's time for the flight. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.